the Welsh countryside, a place for quietness, amazing views and farming. Not a place where you would think of finding these fluffy alpacas. Meet Michael and Celia Berry. They have a very unique business that produces yarn from alpaca coats. Alpacas are bred for their fine soft hollow fibre, unlike their cousin, the llamas, which are bred for carrying loads. Llamas have shaggy coats with thick guard hair from which you can't create a fine soft yarn. The alpacas have less guard hair than the llamas and much more hollow fibre, which is great for making yarn. This is due to where the alpacas originate from, the Andes. At high altitudes the air is thin and the blistering midday sun means the alpacas don't want a heavy coat. With a huge change in contrast for the nighttime temperature, the hollow fleece still keeps them warm. So how do you get the alpaca fibre into the final yarn ready for distribution? Let's go to the workshop to find out. After a good cleaning, the alpaca fibre arrives in the workshop ready for its first process. The fibre goes through an opener, which opens the fibre to prevent it clogging up the next machine. The fibre from the opener goes through the fibre separator, or dehairer as it's known here. It spins to separate the fine fibres from the unwanted coarser guard hair. The waste coarser fibres are great for stuffing pillows and duvets. The remaining fibre moves onto the carder. The carder uses multiple spinning rollers to lay the fibres parallel. There are four pairs of worker and stripper rollers that comb out the fibre stream to produce this identically parallel fibre every time. The fibre gets shaped into sausages and fills up these barrels. An automated measurer stops the machine when the desired length is reached. This machine is called the draw frame. In this case, it combines two strands into one for consistency while drawing or stretching the fibre stream. The fibre now goes onto a spinner, which spins the fibre onto a bobbin. The settings on the machine can be changed to determine how thick the fibre is, how twisted it is, and the speed of which it is put onto the bobbin. These travellers make sure the yarn spins around the bobbins evenly as the frames travel up and down. A yarn passes through a magic eye to ensure the desired length is reached and also to stop the machine immediately if a strand is to snap. This sped up footage shows how the yarn is put onto the bobbin. Finally, this machine combines two single yarns into one. It runs through another magic eye, just like before, to ensure no breaks and to measure a desired length. Combining two single yarns into one gives a more pleasing, final size yarn for the knitter. The yarn needs to be placed onto a cone for completion. This yarn is ready to be knitted into something fashionable, like the snood, or this comfy jumper. So now you know how yarn is made from alpaca fibre.